selecting a university to study in Germany feels like this huge task which is almost impossible to accomplish on your own. You either watch best universities in Germany videos on YouTube or ask someone who's already doing their masters or bachelors in Germany and follow their path. The main point here is you need a university which aligns with your career needs and goals and not someone else's. Visiting Dart's website and searching for your desired course will lead to a long list of universities and just by looking at them you might feel overwhelmed. So today I'm going to tell you how to find the best universities in Germany for you and what are the major factors you should be considering while selecting them. Before we start, three important things to know here. First, in Germany, university ranking don't matter as much. A person from a low ranking university will get the same opportunities as a person from a high ranking university because people here believe in your academics, your experience, your overall understanding of your subject and not some arbitrary rankings. Second, all universities are well connected to major cities and hubs, so you have enough opportunities to flourish once you graduate, and only if you work hard. Third, there are two main institutions in Germany, technical universities or universities of applied sciences. We made a small video recently about this, you can check that out or just to recap you a little bit. Technical universities mainly focus on research and theory, whereas universities of applied sciences focus more on practical applications so that you are ready for the industry when you graduate. With this thing out of the way, let's start the main video. Factor 1. Money and Fees In Germany, as you know, there are no tuition fees in public institutions except for the state of Baden-Württemberg, but there are semester contributions which you have to pay every semester. Now, what are semester contributions? Well, they cover the administrative costs and provide you with student services along with the semester ticket which allows you to travel freely using the public transport. This fee usually ranges from 150 euros to 450 euros depending on the course and the university. For example, TU Hamburg has a semester contribution of 274 euros and 60 cents which covers various costs and benefits. Now, of course, there are courses in private as well as public universities which have tuition fees and if you're ready to pay the tuition fees in those universities, by all means, go ahead. But most of the students are on a tight budget and won't be able to afford the tuition fees on their own. So for those students, just make sure that you look for courses with no tuition fees and I'm pretty sure you'll find one. Factor 2. Language Barrier now, you have two options in front of you. You either opt for a German taught program or an English taught program. The syllabus for the counterpart is always going to be the same, but the competition, ah, nah, 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 nah. the competition for the English taught program is always going to be more. See, if you're fluent and confident in your German that you can read, write, and understand all the classes in the German taught program, just do it. Just do it! You will always have an edge over the other students when you apply for a job in Germany because you already know German. But if you're not that fluent or confident in German, don't worry, you have other options. You can apply for an English taught program, but just make sure that you have a strong profile which sets you apart from the other students. If you have a good academic score and a decent work experience, your chances are already very high. For German taught programs, you either need German B2 or even C level of fluency along with proper certifications and you will need to clear the test up exam as well. For English taught programs, you just need to clear the IELTS or the TOEFL exam. Factor 3. Eligibility Criteria Now, there are courses in universities which demand GRE and GATE scores while applying. EU Munich, RWTH, Aachen have courses for which it is mandatory to submit either the GRE or the GATE score. Again, these are really small number of courses in really small number of universities and the only reason they are asking for this course is to better assess your profile. And most of them do not have a minimum score required because they look at your entire application and not just one exam. This means if you have cleared the GATE exam and some other student didn't, you have better chance than him in getting the admit. All things aside, in most cases, you are only going to need your IELTS or your TOEFL score while applying along with your other documents. Also, because your academic score really plays a crucial role in deciding whether you get the admit or not, if you are still in your bachelor's and have a few semesters to clear off, just make sure that you get some nice grades. 8 to 9 CGPA is considered really good, so don't slack off. A pandemic won't come to rescue you this time. One last thing for all the students who are preparing for their higher studies in Germany, apply to as many universities as you can and not just one university. Work hard, build a good profile and start learning German already because if you do this, no one can stop you from getting that admit. 